Let's take a quick look now at the rest of the stories that made headlines in the world of business. The Kenya Ports Authority Board has appointed Ambassador John Mongemi as the acting managing director to replace engineer Rashid Salim, who has retired. Ambassador Mongemi has served as Kenya's ambassador to Djibouti and Rwanda. Prior to his appointment last year, engineer Rashid had worked at the port as a marine engineer for 38 years. Mobile money lender Tala is welcoming regulations by the central bank, however noting the participation from sector players in forming the regulations is key. General Manager Ivan Boa says seclusion from players will stifle innovation on the industry that is still in its infancy state. In Nyandarwa, potato farmers, processors and transporters from the agricultural-rich area of Kinangop are headed to court calling for the suspension of the Irish potato regulations. The group has issued a 21-day notice to the national in Nyandarwa county governments, terming the regulations unlawful. And we have asked them that they, 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 they allow that there be a ceasefire of implementation of these laws. Meru County has issued stringent measures to all coffee factories to stem emerging cases of coffee theft. This year alone, about 300 bags of coffee worth 5.8 million shillings were stolen from four factories. All the factory chairpersons, managers and watchmen will be required to undergo a vetting process to be conducted by deputy county commissioners of their respective areas. Finally, Kenya Power has dismantled illegal power lines in Nairobi's industrial area. The campaign is aimed at ensuring public safety and reducing energy losses. The firm says the recent increase in the company's system losses is partly attributable to a surge in illegal activities on its electricity network. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.